Right off the top tonight, in just the last hour, Governor Hochul's budget has passed the state Senate and is one step closer now to being signed. And tonight we have learned it also includes an overhaul of off-track betting. Good evening, everyone. I'm Scott Levin. Mary Alice is off tonight. As Tony Sides' Andy Payton reports tonight, not every lawmaker is glad to see this legislation go through. The Western Region OTB specifically Senator Borello, if you would, Senator Tonight, a clash between two Western New York State Senators on the Senate floor. We don't get to tell you how to ask the questions. You don't get to tell us how to answer them. As New York lawmakers debated and just hours ago passed a portion of the final state budget related to the region's off-track betting in 15 counties. The proposal upon the budget's complete passing would terminate all 17 commissioners from the Western Regional OTB Corporation and restructure the voting process, tilting the power toward more populated counties like Erie and Monroe. Makes it more equitable and a fair distribution of uh, that board system. It comes after a series of audits from the state comptroller in 2021 that found the board misused funds and spent at least $121,000 on sporting events, concerts, food, and alcohol for board members and their families. And also found that its CEO, Henry Witowski, used a company vehicle without reimbursing the organization in a timely manner. What we plan to do here through the approval of this bill is root out uh, what could be considered the worst and most corrupt system that's in place across the entire state. But the Republican state senator fought back tonight, arguing that the change would strip power from less populated counties, even those that provide the most profits. Referencing Batavia Downs in Genesee County that brought in a region high $12 million in net profits in 2021, but received just 2.1% of funds distributed among the 15 counties. The change now leaving the county with just two of the 100 total votes, while granting less lucrative Erie County 34% of the vote due to its population size. What you're ignoring is the will of the people, the people that actually do the hard work to generate that revenue. This is just another shameless power grab and running out the clock was also shameless. Now, once again, we just received word minutes ago that the budget has officially passed by the state Senate. The assembly is still voting as we speak. If it passes, there is vote returned to Governor Kathy Hogel's desk for her final signature. In the studio tonight, Andy Payton, Channel 2 News.